So this is some news that came out yesterday. I just forgot to talk about it. But, you know, hey, late, better late than never, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about the uh, announcement for Alien Isolation 2. You know, got to represent. Come on focus camera it's a it's an alien it's attack on titan alien shirt there you go um so yeah i'm gonna be talking about like the announcement for alien isolation 2 i'm really excited alien isolation 1 was a amazing game it was an amazing survival horror game and arguably the best alien game period like i don't think like everyone kind of agrees if you want to look at like both at like alien game at like alien centric games there hasn't really been really a one that could stand up to Alien Isolation. I mean, you have like Fire Team Elite and uh, Dark Descent. Um, <laughs> it's just you know, I saw like some of those games range from okay to mediocre, but here, like Alien Isolation was the goaded standard. So to have it back, at an announcement ten on the tenth anniversary of Alien Isolation is amazing. Now, the big thing is a couple things why I think that factor kind of happened, of why it got the okay, why Alien Isolation got the okay. Arguably, the biggest one is Alien Romulus did so good. And also, Isolation is the reason we have Romulus, is because Fede Alvarez took so much inspiration from Isolation. In fact, I would not be shocked if the original idea for this movie, uh, for Alien Romulus, was an adaptation of I Alien Isolation like a direct adaptation, or using the character of Amanda Ripley in some of the earlier drafts. I would not be shocked by that. Um, uh, yeah, so... Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so therein lies the big thing, is that Alien Isolation... If we didn't have Isolation, we wouldn't have Romulus. There's the big thing. That I think that's the biggest takeaway from all of this, is that were we... Uh, did If we did not have alien isolation we would not have romulus and if we didn't have how, how well romulus did probably wouldn't have alien isolation too now let's talk about some other things i'd love um i'm hoping for in this game the return of amanda ripley i really hope this this isn't like a new story and a new character i really do hope that it's we bring back amanda because there's so much in this there's a 50 year there's a 57 year gap between alien and aliens 57 years my dudes you can fit a lot of story in 50 in 57 years if star wars can fit 20 can fit like 200 and like something stories going off simultaneously in the 20 year gap between um fucking empire and revenge of the sith i mean not empire like new hope and revenge of the sith excuse me like I, then you can fit almost 60 yeah it's 57 years so almost 60 years of storytelling in that time frame hell if you really want to go if you really want to go nuts with it you could have you know there's 200 years of store over 200 years of storytelling that you can do between alien 3 and alien resurrection i know those aren't good movies but like again there's story potential in a 200 year gap there is a lot you can do that probably wouldn't mess with the continuity so yeah um to ha so yeah, you could have that again with again going back to that fifty-seven year gap. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So don't tell me it's like oh, there's not enough time to tell the story. Oh, fuck off, there is. Yeah, fuck off, there is. Um, so could this also mean the games could be canon to this new to an alien universe? I mean, there's nothing to say they're, they they aren't canon, like any of the Alien games, really. Now, the AVP games, you can make arguments against, or for, but the ones that really, like, have said, like, yeah, there's nothing really here in any Alien game that says, no, this isn't canon. So, for all intents and purposes, the Alien, like, the Alien Isolation game could easily be in canon with the movies. I mean, it does a lot to stay in, it try its best to be canonical to the movies, Romulus did its best to be canonical to all the movies and not like overlook like Prometheus and Alien Covenant, even though, yes, ev uh, how that third act goes depends on you, like how you feel, but um, still, they they were like, nah, we, they could easily like wipe all, the they could have easily, Fede Alvarez could have easily um, tossed the entire book out 
when it comes to like, oh, the only two that are in canon are Alien and Aliens, and that's it. But he's like, no, it's all canon. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So there is no like rebooted timeline. It's all one timeline. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not confusing like the Halloween or Texas Chainsaw or Puppet Master timelines. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, so yeah. So why not have the vi the video games be canon? I mean, the Star Wars games are all trying to be ca are are all canon. So why can't we have an alien universe? And I think with how uh, like how well Romulus did, I think Disney is going to look at that. And also like I don't I am not one of those people who say like oh Star Wars is dead. But I uh, but I can see from a um a business standpoint of how well Romulus did, and probably be like. There's a, like a if I was a Disney CEO, I'd probably look at this and go, "Hey, this thing makes a lot of money. Let's do more alien stuff. Can we get some Alien versus Predator stuff? You have that anime on Netflix. Just buy it and release it on Hulu. I'm still not over that. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just keep bringing that up when, because it's like it's so infuriating that we have like an R-rated AVP anime that's just sitting in the Netflix vault, and Disney just won't buy it and release it. There's also like there was supposed to be a theme park, an AVP, a, a theme park in Malaysia that Disney canceled, which I do get because that was part of the Fo that was apparently part of the Fox uh, deal, like before the Fox deal, so they killed it. But now it just kind of gives me more pause for like. So, can we get an a Alien Land at Disney? Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, but getting back to the point is that what would I like to see in an Alien game? What would I like to see in a new Alien Isolation game? For starters, I think keeping the horror element. Like, I want limited resources. I want to feel like this game will scare the shit out of me. And I think it would be kind of cool if we did something... If we did this on a planet, like a like a refinery planet, or maybe not a space station, but this time on a physical planet, and maybe do more with multiple xenomorphs, so it's not just like one xenomorph. I know there are more in the game, but like the one xenomorph trying to avoid and evade that creature, but now you have to do it multiple times. Would I make it more like Doom? No, but if we're going to have more xenomorphs, you might as well have the ability to defend yourself. But you would have to conserve ammo. Make it more like a... I know it's like a survival horror game already. But maybe give it that Resident Evil uh, feel where every piece of ammo you get is needed. Like, you need to conserve ammo and also hold on to what you have. Because it's going to be few and... You, yeah, you get, you, know, you get more availability to a rifle, but you got to keep... But getting ammo is another thing. Just like getting fuel for the flamethrower to fight... Uh, you know, to scare away the xenomorph would i still have um synthetics as an enemy yeah i'd still have a, a synthetics as an enemy i would also have maybe some more variants of the xenomorphs not like a human xenomorph hybrid though i do think that could be a possibility in the game um i would like to see something along the lines of like maybe the praetorian guard the uh the the praetorian a praetorian would be really cool um i would maybe like to see maybe um more of like the drone xenomorphs like the dog-like ones that'd be cool like some variation but not too dissimilar although i do think because again um now that you know romulus was so popular i do think like one of the things we are going to get is like a xena another xenomorph human hybrid um or some or maybe even engineer like it could that could easily happen too we actually get an engineer boss fight or like run and hide not so much boss fight, let me rephrase. Maybe you have to, like, now run and hide from, like, an engineer or something like that. Could we even get, like, a predator in there? I don't think that's possible. For some reason, like, Disney has been really, like, against the idea of Alien versus Predator. Like, they've been... Like, they really don't like the idea of AVP. Probably because of the movies more than anything else, which is weird. Which I get. The movies were awful. So, but at the same time, I'm like, you guys can just do something better. You know that, right? Or you can just let Marvel do it and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, so for other things I'd like to see in the game, um, would I like to see, um, 
Well, it's probably going to have more connection with Romulus, because again, how Romulus's popularity and all that. And, I, and again, it was the insp the first game was the inspiration for the movie, so maybe some connective tissue. But here's the big thing: um, Do we make Amanda Ripley canon to the movies? Yeah, like I just like I said earlier in the video, I think that's the smart way to go. Is making Amanda canon to the un like officially canon to the universe? She was already yes, we know she's canon in the universe in the extended edition of the films. So, let's go all out. Like, we do know that she dies in in the movie. We know she is dead in, um, in the films. And the, thanks to, uh, you know, we do, but so we have 57 years to s tell stories with her. Yeah. Or you could do the Star Wars thing, please don't, where the character is said to be dead, but he's, they're really not. You know, Totally, that, you know, totally some Dave Filoni-level storytelling. Anyway, I'm going off topic. I'm just excited for a new Alien Isolation game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be scary. Like, I imagine they're going to, like, yeah, did you have, were you full of, ten, uh, were you tense to the point of having a heart attack in the last game? Well, get ready to have some heart meds for this one, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of um, this announcement for Alien Isolation? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? And what enemies would you like to see? Like an engineer, more synthetics, different variations of xenomorphs? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.